Hello, this is Sarah's Living with MS. I created this channel for MS awareness and support. I have previous episodes on the MS diagnosis process and early MS symptoms. Please visit my channel, like, and subscribe. Today I wanted to talk about the medications that I've been on for MS, Rebif, Tysabri, and Ocrevus. There are different types of treatment options available, depending on your MS diagnosis and how far you've progressed. No one's MS is the same, but I wanted to give my experience with medication and my review of them. I am hoping that this will be helpful. By the time I saw a neurologist for treatment, my MS had progressed significantly. My doctor recommended I start with Rebif, so that's what I did. This is a three time a week self injection. It also, a Rebif nurse comes to visit you every few weeks or so to check your symptoms and side effects and to see how it's going. I had bad side effects with this drug. I had flu-like symptoms and severe chills. And when I had these severe chills, it was like my whole body was frozen and I could barely walk. I took the injection right before I went to bed to minimize the impact of the side effects on my daily life. This did work. I would wake up in the morning, I would be fine, but it would be a really rough night some nights. I also started losing my hair. Luckily for me, I do have a lot of hair, but my hair is still significantly thinner than it was to begin with. I was on this for about four months or so, until at one point the Rebif nurse told, advised me that it was not working for me and that I should switch to something else. So I went back to my neurologist. My neurologist gave me a list of medications and asked me which one I would prefer to take. I had no idea what I should take. I was completely like, how am I supposed to know what I'm supposed to take? Like you're the neurologist. So I decided that I needed to get a second opinion. So I saw an, a different neurologist. They advised that I should not have started with Rebif because of my progression. I should have started with Ocrevus. So I started taking Ocrevus. This is a every six month infusion. For me, it was a day of infusion and then a night of being extremely exhausted. And then a few days after this exhaustion would last about two to three days. I stayed on this for about a year and a half. And towards the end of this year and a half, I had my yearly mammogram and I ended up being diagnosed with breast cancer. With this new complication, my neurologist advised that I would have to stop taking Ocrevus and then I would switch to Dysabri. This is what I'm currently on. This is a monthly infusion. It takes about three hours for me to go through the process. As I take my infusion at the hospital, I go to the hospital, I wait about an hour for the prescription to arrive, an hour to infuse, and for the first 12 months, you have to wait an hour after to make sure that you don't have any side effects right away. The infusion does exhaust me. I have to take the rest of the day off of work and just sleep it off. Um, but other than that, I don't have any side effects at all. I also feel like my leg progression is slowing down and that I do have a little bit more energy. With this medication, you have to get your JCV virus levels tested. This is because with high JCV virus levels, there is a high risk of PML, which is a very serious brain disease. If your JC level, JCV virus levels are too high, you either have to get off a of Tysabri or you have to switch to an every six week infusion. Luckily for me, it's been low so far, so I haven't had to, I can continue with every four weeks. I'm really glad that I can continue on this drug because with my breast cancer and my progression, there aren't a lot of options for me at this point. I am not able to try any new medication trials because of the cancer. Of the three medications, of course, I like Tysabri the best. I feel like I have more energy and my leg seems to stay at the same level of dis disablement. I know everyone's MS is different and treatment is different for everyone, but this has been my experience. I hope you have found this information helpful. Please like and subscribe. Please visit my channel for earlier episodes on the MS diagnosis process and early MS symptoms for signs. Thank you for watching.